1981 shooting becomes Germany's most well-known case of vigilante justice. Our moment in crime is the case of Marianne Backmeyer. The 6th of March 1981 was the third day of his trial. It was also the last day of his life. As the trial got underway at Lubeck District Court, the defendant was shot seven times in the back. An eighth shot missed. The dead man was Klaus Grabowski, a 35-year-old butcher. Grabowski was a convicted sex offender. In 1973, he was placed on a year's probation after trying to strangle a six-year-old girl. He then ended up serving time for sexually abusing two girls. During his time behind bars, he was castrated and underwent hormone treatment. On that March day in 1981, Grabowski was standing trial for the murder of seven-year-old Anna Backmeyer. Less than a year earlier, on the 5th of May, Anna decided not to go to school in order to annoy her mother. Instead, she wanted to visit a school friend of hers. As she made her way to her friend's house, she was allegedly abducted by Grabowski, who then kept Anna in his home for several hours before strangling her with a pair of tights. Anna's body was then tied up and put in a box. She was later found buried in a shallow grave on a canal bank. After being arrested for the murder, Grabowski said he hadn't intended to sexually abuse Anna. He claimed that Anna wanted to tell her mother he had inappropriately touched her with the aim of extorting money from him. Grabowski's shooter made no attempts to flee when he dropped dead to the floor. Much of the German population showed understanding for her actions. Media from across the world headed to Lübeck to report on the case, and TV programmes would later air with titles like I'd Have Shot Him Too. The shooter was able to sell her life story to the magazine Stern, for 250,000 Deutschmarks. Many began to look at the shooter as a symbol of the public's frustration over rising crime. But the case became the most well-known example of vigilante justice in the country. The shooter was Anna's mother, Marianne Backmeyer. Marianne was born on the 3rd of June 1950 in Sars Ted. Her parents had fled there from East Prussia as her father had once been a member of the Waffen SS. Marianne's parents split up when she was a child and her mother remarried. Life at home was not easy for Marianne and she was kicked out of the family home as a teenager. She spent time working as a barmaid and became a mother for the first time at the age of 16. Her child, a girl, was given up for adoption soon after the birth. Aged 18, she became pregnant again by her then boyfriend. Not long before she gave birth, Marianne was raped at a disco. Her second daughter was also given up for adoption. But when she had her third daughter, Anna, on the 14th of November, 1972, Marianne chose to raise her baby girl by herself. Marianne was sterilised soon after giving birth to Anna. The gun Marianne used to kill Grabowski was a Beretta M1934. She'd purchased the gun a week before the shooting, she had been planning on taking her own life. But her plans obviously changed. Immediately after the shooting, 
Judge Gunter Kroger heard Marianne say, I wanted to shoot him in the face, but I only got him in the back. I hope he's dead. Marianne was charged with murder on the 2nd of November, 1982. But the prosecution then dropped the murder charge. After 28 days of negotiations, Marianne was charged with manslaughter. State Prosecutor Claus Dieter Schultz asked for the charge to be reduced to manslaughter himself, citing the extenuating circumstances surrounding the case. Marianne's defence team argued that Marianne had been under severe emotional stress at the time and was not responsible for her actions. The prosecution said that Marianne acted out of revenge and knew what she was doing. The prosecution asked for a sentence of eight years. On the 2nd of March 1983, 32-year-old Marianne was convicted of manslaughter in the circuit court chamber of the district court in Lubeck. She was also convicted of unlawful possession of a firearm. Marianne served three years of a six-year sentence. Had she been convicted of murder, Marianne would have faced a maximum sentence of life behind bars. Marianne married in 1985 and in 1988 her husband's work as a teacher took the couple to Lagos, Nigeria. In Lagos, the couple lived in a German camp where Marianne's husband taught at a German school. Sadly, the marriage didn't last and the couple divorced in 1990. After the divorce, Marianne moved to Sicily where she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. This prompted a move back to Germany, where she began making appearances in the media. She was interviewed on a radio station in 1994, and on the 21st of September 1995, Marianne appeared on the talk show Fleege. It was on this TV show that Marianne said she shot Klaus Grabowski after careful consideration. Marianne had wanted to enforce the law on him and to stop him from spreading lies about Anna. Marianne's illness became worse. Knowing she didn't have long to live, Marianne asked NDR reporter Lucas Maria Bomer to film her in the final moments of her life. She had wanted to die in her adopted home of Palermo but she passed away on the 17th of September, 1996, in a Lubeck hospital. She was 46 years old. Marianne was buried in Anna's grave in a Lubeck cemetery. <laughs>